What I got here is a steering cylinder off of a, uh, a man lift. I'm not sure what brand. Uh, there is a cylinder number on this. It is cylinder number 135666-1. And we're going to be doing a resale on it today. So if you like this sort of stuff, if you would go down there, click that subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of stuff. Also, if you don't mind, go down there, there in the comments and uh, leave some suggestions, feedback, uh, whatever. It'd be much appreciated. We're gonna get into this. Okay, for starters, I'll just take it and make sure it's empty. It is empty of oil. This actually has a uh, retainer ring in the gland here. It needs turned out by these spanner holes. We'll get it in the vise. And this uh, retainer ring, the end of it is facing this direction. So we're gonna have to turn it counterclockwise as if it was threaded. Okay, I've got a uh, Proto Spanner wrench I'm using, number C Charlie 483, not sponsored. And I'm going to put this in and we're gonna try to turn it. And that's not good, that broke. Actually, wait a minute. There we go, okay. So I need to bring this up a little bit. So I've got a pick here that has a flat ground on it. Okay, I've got a pick here. I'll get up under this. That way when I rotate, there we go. So what I did is uh, I lifted that up enough to when I was rotating it, it come out past the OD of the tube, the outside of it. And now we just rotate it all the way out. <clears throat> And, okay, there's the end of it. We'll pull it out, set that to the side, and then it's a matter of pulling the rod out. So I'm not sure how tight this will be, but we'll just basically take it. I'll hold my rag over this port just in case there's any extra, and basically I'll pull it out like that. Wipe that tube out there, loosen it, and let this hang out over here. Then I'll take and uh, put this back in the vise. This is a 15 16 I got 15 16 socket here, and half inch drive impact. This is Thor 1894. Seen me use it before on here, and I am not sponsored, just a good impact. Okay, so now we'll remove the piston nut. There's the piston nut, and this had red Loctite on it. We'll remove the piston, remove the gland, and we'll remove that little rubber piece that you see on these. I think it's just for protection a little bit, I'm not sure. I don't know the purpose for it, honestly. All right, now I'm gonna start with the piston. This has an inner O-ring in there. We'll remove it first. Okay, there's that. This has what appears to be a TP style piston seal. Same measurements as O-ring and backups. Um, we'll see, we'll take one of the backups off. And it is a split backup, so it is a TP seal. It's got two of those. And then the seal itself. And if this were cut, the seal cut in two, that's the profile of it right there. It's got these little edges. And when it's all together, these uh, extrusion rings go on the side like that. That's a TP seal, piston seal. Okay, I will take, set the piston to the side. Now the gland, I'll remove the O-ring and the back up. Go inside, remove the rod seal, which is the main pressure seal, your lip seal. That's the seal. Okay, and we'll remove the wiper. 
and it just shot off somewhere. All right, and that's got a smaller uh, ST wiper. All right, I got all the seals out. Um, I'm gonna go clean the head up and the piston. Get those all cleaned up and get the new seals hunted up. I'll come back and we'll put it together. All right, I'm back. I got my new seals. I got everything cleaned up here. Um, piston and the gland. We're gonna start with the piston first. I'm gonna start with the uh, inner O-ring. Um, it goes in and it goes in that little groove right in there. This is a one series O-ring, three quarter on the ID. We're gonna put this in, get one side started. And then put that in. I've got my TP seal. This is uh, um, 326. This is the same as the old one, uh, the O-ring here and the uh, extrusion rings. Okay, so we're gonna take that. We'll take the uh, seal first, get it started, kind of like an O-ring, and get that put in. Make sure that those little sides are flat and seated. Then take one of your, your one ring, put it on and then put your other ring on. And that's, that's it as far as that goes. Piston is done. Next on to the gland. We'll start with our uh, backup. And this cylinder was a three quarter inch uh, rod by a two inch bore. So next the backup, it goes on first. And this has a, um, I don't know if you can see it there. This has a concave side, which the O-ring seats against. So we'll stretch the backer on and make sure that it is seated and that concave side is, is here. So the O-ring will back up against it. Put the O-ring on next, just like that. Now the U-cup. This is a three-quarter ID, uh, 50, so it's an eighth inch wide cross section. Three-quarter ID, which makes this thing an inch wide by 250 on the height, which is a quarter inch. This is going to be a good example why you need a seal installation tool sometimes. Basically, I'll take my seal installation tool like this and I'll rotate it around. I'll rotate it around enough to deform that seal so I can take and get that started on one side there. Then I'll hold pressure with my thumb while removing the tool. And I'll continue to push. And that thing just seated itself, if you saw that. Kind of hard to do one-handed, but Without that, that would have been a pain. I mean, it's, it's possible to do, but it's just a pain. So why make things a pain when you can uh, use the old KISS method? I had a welding teacher said, always use the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. So <laughs> uh, I've applied that to some things. All right, now my uh, wiper. This is a ST wiper and uh, take and start one side of it and then basically just this thing stiff too just work that thing down until <clears throat> until it seats it's not wanting to seat all the way right here so i'll take my scale and basically just run it around enough to get that lip to go under and seat and that's it. Now we'll take uh, the gland, put some grease in here. We'll take and put our gland on. And 
I'll use my socket to give that a bump. Okay, that went on. I'll take and do a little bit of grease on this inside O-ring. Then I'll put the piston on. I'll take a little bit of blue 121 thread locker. I'll put just a touch here. Do not want to use red. Okay, start the piston nut back on. Back to the impact and 15 16 socket. We'll run the piston nut tight. And once that's ran tight, we'll set this to the side. You want to inspect and make sure your tube is fine. This, this looks pretty good. I'll take it, put it back in the vise. Next, I'll take some grease. We'll take and grease up our piston seal and our O-ring on the gland. Then I'll take a little bit of grease and I'll put it inside the tube as well. And now we're ready to put the rod back in. I'll take and start the piston. And that thing just went right in. Now remember the uh, gland has a hole in it for this lock ring to locate in. And that's what's going to turn the ring in as we turn the gland. So this hole needs to be in line with the slot. Take, push the gland in. Take our lock ring, locate it. Then I'll take my spanners, go back on the face of the gland, put them in and hold, hold that in the groove until it gets started under the tube, just like that. And then I'll rotate it in. Okay, it's not in all the way yet, but as I rotate this, this is going to go down until the, I can start to see the start of that uh, ring where that hook was. So we're going to rotate this until it stops, until the end of this hits the, the beginning of that. Right there, it stopped, and that's it. That's, this is resealed. That's how you uh, can reseal a uh, man lift steering cylinder. Again, I don't know what brand this was off of, but... If this is similar to yours, that's how you do this. If you got anything out of this, if you would, go down there, click that subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you uh, got anything out of this. Go down there in the comments as well. Leave a comment. Let me know what I can improve on, what you would like to see, and just help support the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.